just ahead of going to one of his best tracks on the schedule, 2017 NASCAR Cup Series champion Martin Truex Jr. joins the show. How's it going, y'all? My name is Eric, and welcome to Out of the Groove. Very special episode. Earlier today, I had the chance to speak to Martin Truex Jr. from Joe Gibbs Racing. We talked about his season so far, his experience with the next gen car, which I found very interesting, as well as this weekend's upcoming race at Watkins Glen. And we talked a little bit about uh, the last couple weeks of vacation. Huge thank you to Auto Owners Insurance for helping set this interview up. Longtime sponsors of Martin Truex Jr. You'll remember their 2018 car, that blue, beautiful machine, was my favorite paint scheme of the year. So really awesome for them to help set this interview up. Now, without further ado, let's go to my interview with Martin Truex Jr. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Out of the Groove. My name is Eric Estep, and this week I am joined by a NASCAR Cup Series champion, as a matter of fact, Martin Truex Jr. How's it going, man? Thanks for uh, calling in. No problem, Eric. It's doing good, man. It's, uh, how's it going? It's going fantastic. Been a, a long break. I'm sure you've enjoyed it. How have you spent these last two or three weeks? Have you done anything fun? You look like you're still vibing, just hanging out out there. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm still on, you know, kind of like what you call, I guess, my vacation. Uh, you know, kind of hanging out on the RV and uh, doing some fishing. Uh, I was actually out on the lake today fishing. I had to come in early to do some interviews and stuff, but uh, just been relaxing, hanging out with friends and family and, uh, and chilling out, getting getting recharged for uh, the rest of the year coming up. Uh, have you seen, I have to ask, have you seen uh, Kyle Bush's vacation clips and stuff? Have you seen the video of him dancing around in the Speedo and things like that? Uh, I'm not sure I'd want to see that, but I have, but no. <laughs> all right, good. Well, you, you've been spared. I just want to know what all the other Joe Gibbs racing drivers were up to because Kyle, he, he was he was focused. Like, he'd been planning this for months. Um, do you like this, uh, this three-week or this kind of two-week summer break? Do you think this should become like an annual thing? I love it. I mean, I think, uh, you know, it's a long season and, you know, it's nice to get a little break. I think not so, not so much for us, but I think more for the crew guys, you know, um, those guys, man, you know, I think most people don't realize that they, they travel to the racetrack, but also they work in the shop during the week and they just, man, they grind. And, you know, 38 weeks of racing is a long way to go with, you know, call it one or two, or maybe three off weekends. So two in a row, I think has been good. I, I've seen a lot of pictures and, and, uh, you know, a lot of stuff that our guys have been doing and it's nice to see them hanging with their families and just getting a little break. Uh, you know, the next, you know, the next uh, stretch here, 14 weeks, whatever it is, the playoffs, especially all that pressure. Uh, it's, it's nice to go in there with, uh, with a fresh recharged battery. Absolutely. So let's talk about your season a little bit to this point. Three wins this year. You've collected, I believe, the second most amount of playoff points currently out of anyone. So how would you grade your team's season so far? Uh, I, th I think we're, we're fairly happy with it. I wouldn't say that we're content. I, I'd say that uh, we feel like we've left some, some points on the table. Um, you know, we had a few, we had a stretch there in the summer. I think at one point we were, you know, we were second in points. And I, I think at that point we were leading the playoff standings and kind of had a rough stretch there, you know, with some crashes and some, some crazy things happening um, and, and lost some of that. So, you know, hopefully we can, you know, get back on track here. We've had, uh, we've had some strong runs lately. Uh, but still haven't got the bonus points or the wins. And that's kind of, you know, on our radar about what we need to be doing. So, um, you know, we, we know the playoffs are all about bonus points and how many you, you go in with is, uh, is always a good safety net. We'd like to get some more of those in the next few weeks for sure. And, um, you know, most importantly, just be consistently up front and uh, set ourselves up with some momentum for the playoffs. And you're in your second full season now with James Small as your crew chief. So how has y'all's relationship grown or changed here in year two? Just get more confident with each other, you know, understanding each other. And, you know, that, that communication has just kind of been eased a little bit, um, you know, as far as understanding each other. So, you know, I think for him, um, he got thrown in at a really, really tough time, you know, last year with, with COVID mm -hmm. coming and then losing practice and qualifying. Uh, in your first year chief is uh, is pretty daunting. So, you know, we've we've had to do a lot of work um, over the past year and a half to just try to figure out how to show up to the racetracks better prepared. Uh, and that really all falls on his shoulders with the engineers of making decisions. So, you know, a lot of pressure there and he's done uh, he's done a great job with it. And, uh, you know, I feel like this year has been a lot better than last year as far as that's concerned. And you know, hopefully we can uh, have 10 perfect weeks uh, in the playoffs. 
Well, before we get to those 10 perfect weeks, what's your team's approach these, I guess, final four weeks before the playoffs start? Is it going for more playoff points? Is it kind of stepping back and making sure you have your best stuff ready? Like, how do you guys approach these final, this final, like, month or so? Yeah, it's honestly, it's all just, um, you know, bonus points and wins. That's really all it's about. Uh, you know, at the same time, obviously, you don't want to go out and take crazy gambles and beat yourself. And, um, you know, we want to be consistent. But I think, you know, we need to be going for wins and bonus points. So, you know, if we run the way we're capable of, we'll be doing both of those things, hopefully. Aggressive. I like it. Now, I want to pivot a little bit and talk about the next gen card next year for just a moment, because I saw an interview you did, uh, I think earlier this summer, where you said if the next gen car isn't fun to drive, then you may not hang around for too much longer. So I want to know, because you've tested the next gen at uh, the Charlotte Oval and the Roval, I believe. So how do you feel the next gen car is going to drive? Do you think it will be fun to drive or are you just guessing at this point? You know, I think from my, my testing experience in the car, it's uh, it's definitely fun to drive. It's, it's going to be a huge learning process. So I look forward to that. That's the fun part about racing is the challenge and, um, you know, the fact that it's always changing. You always have to change and adapt. So, yeah, I'm open-minded about it right now. I'm, I'm not making any conclusions. Um, you know, just going to get out there and, and see how it is. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's fun and we enjoy it and we're successful. Well, several several of your peers, namely Denny Hamlin and next year Brad Keselowski, are also getting into the Cup Series ownership side of things. Is that something you ever see yourself doing one day? You know, at this point, I'm going to say no. Um, I, I've owned some race cars in the past, but just low-level stuff. And, um, you know, it's not really something that I'm interested in at this point. And, you know, those guys, uh, they must have a lot more money than I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of them's got Michael Jordan back in him, so that always that can't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> well, I figured That's definitely, definitely a good one to have. I figured I'd at least ask. You can't can't hurt to ask. But uh, my final question: Let's focus yeah. on on this weekend ahead. You finished first or second in three straight races at Watkins Glen. So, why do you think this track suits you so well, and how confident are you going into this weekend's race? You know, for whatever reason, it's always been a good track for me. Uh, you know, even. You know, back in the day when I was not having good seasons or, you know, we weren't running good consistently, this or that, we could go to Watkins Glen and always be competitive and, and be near the front. So um, I think it's just, you know, I, I chalk it up to, you know, I've got a lot of experience there. Uh, I've been going there a long time. You know, I think the first race I ran there was in 2000 in the Bush North Series. So been going there 20 years and, uh, you know, have confidence there in, in the track, you know, and what I can do on the racetrack and obviously understand the track well and the last handful of times we've been there we've just been since i think you know 2015 uh we've been really really strong there so um you know you go to a track you have confidence in you've had success at in the past next thing you know you've got really good equipment really good teams really good cars you know you can take that next step and that's kind of what we've done so uh it's been fun and, and i'm definitely confident going there this weekend and, and hopefully we'll have a shot at uh at winning it Absolutely. I'll bet you're high up on many people's lists this weekend to go out and get the victory. Well, best of luck this weekend. Uh, thanks for calling in. I hope you enjoy your final uh, few hours of, of vacation. <laughs> and thanks for being on the show. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Thanks for having me, and uh, hopefully we'll do it again soon. Again, a huge thank you to Auto Owners Insurance for setting that interview up, and a huge thank you to Martin Truex Jr. for calling in during the, the tail end of his summer vacation. I hope you all enjoyed that. That's going to do it for this episode of Out of the Groove. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. We talk news, predictions, rumors, and much more on this show. Sometimes we even have superstars from the sport on the show, so be sure to subscribe if you're not already. And as always, a huge thank you to my amazing Patreon supporters as well. Crowded weekend of action at Watkins Glen. Arca is going on probably as this is coming out. <laughs> Trucks next Fandy tomorrow. Cup on Sunday. NASCAR is back in a big, big way. I'll see y'all later this weekend. Have a good one.